everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video I've done my go-to spring makeup look for you which is this um, I actually did a voiceover for this video which is new to me I don't think I've ever done a makeup look with a voiceover before so let me know if you enjoy and yeah let's get on with it so to start with I'm using my Becca backlight priming filter I just pop this on and then rub it in with my hands. It makes your skin so glowy and it's such a nice base. Then for my eyebrows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the colour Chocolate. And then just using a slanted brush to pop this on. I like my eyebrows quite full, so that's what I tend to do. And now I'm using two foundations, my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the NARS Tinted Moisturiser. And then I'm just using my Morphe M439 brush to pop this on with. This voiceover business is very hard to keep up with. And now I'm just popping a bit more on because I clearly didn't have enough in the first place pop this on my head and just blend this all over then I'm going in with my collection last and perfection concealer popping some under my eyes and popping some like at the top of my eyes just to lift them and then on any spots or blemishes that I have which is quite a few don't forget that one on your head yep there we go and then again using the same brush I'm just blending this in Now onto my powder, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder and then just a Spectrum flat headed brush just to pop this on any areas where I'm extra glowy. Um, so anywhere where I put some concealer just to set that in place. And then going in with a fluffier brush also from Spectrum, just popping this all over. And now I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Icon palette and they have so many really nice colours, a lot of them are shimmers and I'm going in with the sort of more orangey, darker colours, just popping that all over the lid and then I'm going in with a darker colour just to pop in the crease, just to make it a bit more smoky. And then the same with the other eye. So now I'm popping a white goldy colour just on the inner corner of the lid and on the centre of the lid as well. After this I'm using a brown collection liquid eyeliner. Doing this off camera and here I am. Now in with my bronzer and a slanted brush again just to bronze my face up a bit. This is the Kiko bronzer in the colour Gold Waves. It's my go-to bronzer, I use it all the time and I love it. And now I'm using a fluffy brush just to blend all of this in. And now I'm going in with something called Freck. I love this product. This is a little liquid, a bit like an eyeliner, but it's used to do faux freckles. So I'm just popping this on and then patting it in with my finger just to blend it in a bit. You can pop this wherever you like, I'm just doing it on my nose and my cheeks. You can also use it to darken up any beauty spots or anything that you already have. And now in with a highlight, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Highlight. And I'm just popping it on with my finger because last time I used it, I squeezed that a bit too much. So I've got some excess product on there already. So I'm just popping it on my cheekbones, on my nose and Cupid's bow. And now to curl the eyelashes. Going in with one eye first. I really don't like curling my eyelashes. I can't wait until I can get my eyelashes back. And now in with the mascara, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Mascara. Just 
make sure they're all evenly covered. I find even when I curl my eyelashes, after about five minutes, they're back straight again. And yeah, I'm not a fan. And then my bottom eyelashes, which I stupidly put the mirror in front of, so you can't actually see. So apologies for that. And then onto the other eye as well. So curling them again. And then when they're all curled, back in with the mascara. Again, making sure they're all evenly covered. And they're how I want them. And then in with the bottom eyelashes. Next up, we're going in with the eyebrow gel. This is another one of my favorite products ever. If you know me, you know I love fluffy eyebrows. So I'm fluffing them all up. I think doing this makes them look so much fuller as well. And I especially work on the fronts of my eyebrows as well. And I bring them forward slightly just to make them look a bit longer. And then in with the other one. So doing exactly the same, fluffing them up still making sure that they look neat and now in with my favorite lip gloss this is the charlotte tilbury refresh rose lip gloss it's a collagen bath one which is so lovely so I'm just popping this all over. I'm always using this lip gloss. If you see me with a lip gloss on, it's this one. And then let's sort this hair out. So take them out. Oh yeah, well that's better already. Look at that, lovely. So here is my finished go-to spring makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.